Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video about the laser incident yesterday. Uh, firstly, thank you all for your, your kind words and wishes on yesterday's video. I appreciate it tremendously. I'm not going to go through and thank everyone individually just by typing thanks in the comments. I just wanted to publicly right now thank you all. Uh, I really appreciate everyone's concern. Uh, everyone is safe, my family is safe, no one was home at the time and just for those that aren't aware, my workshop and the garage are completely separate freestanding buildings from the house. Uh, there's a two and a half metres brick walls between the two buildings. So from a safety point of view, yeah, it was uh, nowhere near the house. So I've done a bit of forensic snooping and I've worked out what the problem was. So there's a drive belt that holds the air assist, which is where it push pushes air through the nozzle of the laser to get rid of smoke and get rid of flames as it's cutting. The drive belt is attached to the head of the laser mount and it's allowed to swivel a little bit so it can move around the bed. What happened was the bolt that holds it in was a little bit looser than it needed to be and it allowed the actual drive chain to pop up and come forward further than it should and it got in the way of the line of the laser. So the laser hit the drive chain, the uh, drive chain had scorch marks on it there was some flame obviously that came out from that, hit the paper on the top of the acrylic sheet that was being cut and the paper caught fire. And the air assist and the air extraction, although it did a good job of pulling the smoke out, wasn't strong enough to put the fire out. Uh, luckily, I heard there was a problem straight away and ran straight into the garage and found it and we put the fire out immediately. So that's what caused it. It was a uh, modification, the air assist is a modification that I did myself on the unit. It's kind of weird that it's done kind of hundreds of hours of cutting and I've never had a problem and it just happened to come loose at this point of time when no one was watching it. Murphy's Law, I guess. Uh, there should be a never a time that you leave your laser cutter unattended and I've learned that lesson. I'm also going to use this opportunity, I guess, as some motivation to get myself a new laser cutter. I'm going to fix the K40, but I'm also going to order a bigger and stronger laser cutter. I've got some projects that I want to do and I need to be able to cut much bigger than A4, which is a limit on the, the K40. And the new cutter I'm looking at is also 80 watts, so it's twice as powerful, it can either cut twice as fast or it can cut twice as thick. So I'm looking forward to getting that and setting that up. But I just wanted to reassure everyone that uh, my family's safe, everyone's safe, and found the problem. I know what caused it, it wasn't electrical, it was just a bit of plastic getting in the way. Um, I know how to modify the drive chain so that won't happen in the future. It's just one of those things that happens. Um, anyway, thank you all. Thanks for your comments yesterday. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my live stream tomorrow morning. I'm going to uh, build my Rev2 Siglament display boards and get those ready for Tindy. Catch you later. Bye.